Hi, I'm Mark Levitt, and welcome to another exciting episode of Bad Celebrity Poetry. Now, frankly, a while back I ran out of celebrity poetry, so I don't have any more. So I figured I would uh, read Hall and Oates' lyrics. So, without further ado, let's begin with the Hall and Oates uh, reading of the lyrics. Now, I don't know which, which lyrics are Oates specific, which are Hall lyrics, I really don't care. But anyway, I'll try to read uh, the lyrics and try to decipher them the best way I know how. Okay, let's proceed. Let's first read their beautiful hit, uh, I Can't Go For That. Now, with lyrics like this, they should be transcribed in the, uh, the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, just, just, just listen to these lyrics. Just listen to them. Okay, here we go. Easy, ready, willing, overtime. When does it stop? Where do you dare me to draw the line? So he's, he's putting up a dare to this woman. Apparently he's putting a, a you know, figurative line in the sand. You know, uh, Let's skip ahead a bit. Uh, the rest of this is kind of gibberish. Okay, uh, I'll do almost anything that you want me to, but I can't go for that. No can do. I don't know how many times I've said that to people I know of. Um, I can't go for that. No can do. I mean, it's a common common phrase. I mean, he's right to put it in the song. Everybody uses it. It's very, very common, okay? All right. Uh, I can't go for being twice as nice. That never works. I can't go for just repeating the same old lines. Use the body. Now you want my soul. Ooh, forget about it. Say no go. Again, no go. It fits in every situation, every line he includes. Is, he's, he's so right to do that. Okay, that's that song, okay? Beautiful haunting lyrics, am I right? Okay, but anyway, uh, let's see. Let's go to this one. Uh, let me check here. Maneater. Uh, Maneater's a popular favorite. Um, she'll only come out at nights. Now, listen to that clue. The first line gives you a clue as to the indication of this girl's character. She'll only come out at nights. She could be a vampire. But uh, anyhow, the lean and hungry type. Yeah, we all know what that is. Okay, nothing is new. I've seen her here before. Watching and waiting. Ooh, she's sitting with you. Wait, he ch dramatically changes the subject. Ooh, she's sitting with you, but her eyes are on the door. Okay. So she says, stop paying attention. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's skip ahead. Again, this is a bunch of gibberish. Uh, let's go ahead. Um... Ooh, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. Ooh, here she comes. She's a man-eater. Well, of course. I mean, she's just going to go ahead and chew you up. She's got to be some kind of a man-eater. You know? They're carnivorous. Okay? Uh, watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. She's a man-eater. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. Well, it's a little repetitive. You know, I mean, it's made the point several times that she's a man-eater, and she's going to chew him up. Well... Uh, I don't really see his any point in continuing this. I mean, these lyrics are uh, pretty bad, pretty awful. Uh, Hall & Oates. Uh, definitely not going to be enshrined in the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I don't know where they're enshrined them. Some, some kind of a... Uh, just Maybe it's just enshrined them in deep in the ground. Anyhow, that's been it for reading Hall & Oates lyrics with Mark Levitt. Check you later.